yo what's going on guys welcome back to afk journey now in today's video we are going to check the talk with designers season edition so what is this all about so there has been a lot of complaints going around about the song of strife update a lot of people complaining that the rewards are lacking in this update and there's like a lot of issues going on in the song of strife update and i'm gonna have to agree i realized that the rewards are far less than the starter story like the core of the game like before the song of strife update we had you know way more rewards we had way more diamonds way more summons but in the song of strife update they really there is like the rewards are really lacking and there are like a lot of characters who got deeper for example smoky uh, marley so many you know meta characters got debuff and they no longer feel good so they're basically going to talk about you know all the issues in this season edition so let's go ahead and see what they have in store for us so it says hi everyone we've been surprised by the amount of feedback and suggestions we received from our community about the song of strife season and we are truly grateful for your enthusiastic support today we are bringing you another edition of talk with designers where we'll touch on some of the most discussed topics and share our thoughts on how to we plan to address them. Let's dive right in. All right, so question number one, why the nerf on AFK rewards and free gifts in this new season? So AFK rewards, when you grind through AFK stages, I think when like before the Song of Strife update, every single time you completed five AFK stages, you would get like 100 diamonds or, yeah, you would get like 100 diamonds and every 10 stages you complete you will probably get like one summon ticket and i'm pretty sure for this season they don't they didn't really do that like we did every five stage you complete you don't get uh 100 diamonds and you don't get one summon ticket so we're gonna go ahead and see why they did that and if they are going to fix it so they say typically when we plan version updates we schedule rewards for each season with four updates in mind in subsequent versions we have actually prepared more engaging events and gameplay features along with ample rewards to enrich your gaming journey. However, we acknowledge that there are there may have been oversights and reward distribution during the recent season launch. We sincerely apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. To rectify this, we've decided to adjust the rewards for season AFK stage, season legend trial, season corrupt creature, and battle drills to match those you received during the starter story. Moving forward, we're committed to maintain this level of generosity for every new season. Please be assured that these additional rewards are entirely new and won't affect what you'll receive from future events and activities. Your understanding and support are invaluable to us as we continue to strive for excellence in enhancing your gaming experience. Moreover, rewards will be enhanced in certain modes. These adjustments are set to take effect after the update planned for this week. Once the update arrives, all players in the new season will be eligible to claim these compens compensatory, uh, compensatory rewards. Season AFK rewards diamond, okay, 100 diamonds and invite letter times one will be added as stage rewards for the first 1,200 season AFK stages. Okay, so they're they're bringing it back. Okay, good. So they're adding the 100 diamonds and one invite letter back to the season AFK rewards. That is good because I I'm not gonna lie, I didn't like that the fact that they didn't really like they just took that out of the song of strife like they took that out and it just didn't make any sense so they're adding it back really really good it says the two rewards will alternate every five stages starting with new rewards on stages 2 7 12 17 etc overall the season afk stages will be more rewarding than those during the starter story okay so they're basically saying that the rewards that we will get in season afk stages will be far is going to be way better than the rewards we got in the starter story that's actually pretty nice and for the next part we have season legend trial every five floors from the fifth floor to the 85th floor um the rewards in season legend trial will now be replaced with those from the starter story the four towers will provide a total of invite letter times 36 title essence times 360 and temporal essence times 120 as rewards wow okay so I might be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure in the starter story, we didn't get every, uh, we didn't get invite letters in the tower. I might be wrong here, but the fact that we're getting invite letters in the tower is actually pretty nice. And you can literally get um, 36 
invite letters in total really really dope additionally we're adding the faction acorn uh times 10 reward every 10 floors until the 90th floor so next part we have season corrupt creature in addition to the current rewards defeating a season corrupt creature will now reward you with soul stone times 15 the s level soul stone and you can collect 60 soul stones to obtain a random epic hero including those added to the hero wish list after the rate up recruitment event has ended nice so now they're increasing the amount of rewards you can get from defeating corrupted creatures and we also have enhanced rewards for battle drill a uh, desolate grounds a total of six rounds of battle drills will be available throughout the entire season okay and then adjusted diamond rewards and small and medium chests found on the map from 15 and 30 diamonds to 30 and 60 diamonds please stay tuned for more time limited events like glamour gift and future updates these events will feature plenty of rewards for everyone to enjoy this is a w this is actually a w because this is what everybody was complaining about the lack of rewards and how they basically nerfed the rewards that we received in the starter story compared to the rewards we're receiving in the song of strife update so not only are we going to get you know the same amount of rewards you receive in the starter story they're going to be a lot better and that's actually pretty nice overall so this is a huge w especially the fact that we can literally get invite letters in the tower like the fact that we can get invite letters in the tower mode is a good that's a good um at, like that's a good additional feature like that's actually pretty nice so more summons let's go ahead and head on over to question number two it says heroes specialized in dealing true damage like marley and corin aren't performing as effectively in season dream dream realm battles as they did before are we rotating them out so another issue that people are talking about is that marley and corin they're not really performing well in season uh dream realm and you know people are wondering like are these units no longer good in dream realm and do we have to use other units let's go ahead and see uh, what they said they said don't worry we're not rotating out this type of hero our goal is to minimize the power gap between true damage heroes and other heroes while preserving their relative advantages but dream realm bosses lack significant defensive stats in the current stage before endless mode which makes true damage heroes less competitive compared to other types True damage heroes truly shine in endless mode. Heroes like Marley and Korn will remain top tier damage dealers against certain bosses in that difficulty. We realize that we've overlooked your early season experience before you could unlock the Dream Realm bosses on the endless mode difficulty, causing some challenges and transitioning to new formations and raising concerns within the community. For the time being, we encourage you to experiment, experiment with different formations. By the way, artifacts suitable for more formations will actually be unlocked soon. You can preview them in the season artifacts interface so they're basically telling us that they're not like marley and corn they're not going to be replaced they will always be meta and the dream realm no matter what in each season they will always be meta it's just that they're basically trying to experiment you know just testing out to see if there are going to be other characters who can perform you know just as well as marley and corn which is not possible because marley's like you know the top dps unit against dream realm bosses so honestly should they really experiment with uh you know the dream realm bosses not really i feel like they should just not touch dream realm at all like just don't touch it just leave it alone because it's just gonna you know when it comes to bosses in this game um you really don't want to continuously you know change these bosses because it's just gonna make things more complicated so marley and corin don't worry they're still meta it's just that they're just experimenting for some reason and they're basically telling us to uh to use artifacts to you know i don't know enhance our performance and they want us to try new formations and whatever it is what it is and it says we understand your concerns but encourage you to experiment with different formations just what i said uh we'll keep gathering your feedback and monitoring the performance of all heroes on our end we are proceeding with caution on any balance changes because we recognize the time and resources You've invested in these heroes so we're taking extra care with these adjustments that's one thing i also wanted to point out is that if they debuff characters like marley and corin um that's going to be a huge slap in the face because a lot of people including me were investing in marley because she's like the top tier dream realm boss unit so debuffing her and making her 
you know no longer good against dream realm bosses that's just gonna be a a huge slap in the face because we just wasted all of our summons all of our resources on this character and she's no longer good anymore so they're basically saying that they're not going to debuff her they're not going to nerf her which is good because if they did that that would be a huge disappointment and it would cause an outrage in the community rightfully so uh next question this is the last one what's the plan for this season i'm confused about what's going to happen the current season will last about four months with new content planned for release at a steady pace we've scheduled an update for each month bringing in new events features rewards and other ex exciting content but we will not enter but we will not okay that's a typo right there we will not introduce any new progression features in this season as you progress your stat growth will be significantly capped after reaching a certain level similar to what happened in the starter story this is to prevent a significant power gap between new and veteran players in the middle and late stages of the season in the season supreme arena will also set a baseline level to minimize the power gap between participants this will allow you to play the game at your own pace we also want to talk more about the recent changes regarding the requirements for unlocking new areas we made these adjustments after noticing a widening power gap caused by players progressing too quickly through new arenas in future updates we'll introduce new mechanics to address these imbalances allowing players to enjoy the game at their own pace while maintaining a healthy gaming life balance and of course it says a heartfelt letter from the designers bringing seasonal content to this game genre was a bold move one we took on with enthusiasm and determination but we can't do it alone your support and understanding fuel our passion while your feedback and suggestions steer us in the right direction we are committed to improving each season with your input and creating even more thrilling content for the game thank you all again for your patience and understanding your feedback is invaluable and essential for shaping the future of our game finally we want to express our heartfelt gratitude for this incredible support you've demonstrated for the new season song of strife as a small token of our appreciation please enjoy this special gift oh we got a code and what can this code give us 10 invite letters so they basically gave us a code where we can do 10 summons really really nice so that's pretty much all we have for this uh talk with designer season edition overall the way i feel about this um at the end of the day nobody is perfect people will make mistakes um it's really good the fact that they admitted that they made a mistake and we as a community the fact that we you know gave them feedback and they actually listened is a good sign because if this is one thing i notice in every gacha game not even every gacha game but games in general when you're playing a game and if you don't if you don't feel satisfied and you feel like there's something wrong in the game give give the devs feedback give them feedback so that they can know what they're doing wrong and if they don't listen maybe that should be a sign that you should you know not even play the game but the fact that the afk journey community expressed their feelings they shared their opinions and thoughts on the song of strife and they shared their feedback and the devs actually listen and not only did they listen they actually fixed the problem and everything is a lot better good sign and this is a huge w to afk journey so these codes right here make sure you guys claim this code you can literally get um a free multi i'm going to go ahead and switch on over to afk journey and put in this code but this was a really really good um i'll say this was a good dev note dev note or letter or whatever this was a good letter from the devs really really nice they actually listened to us they're giving us more rewards way better than the starter story which is really nice overall but there is one thing that they are missing out and the one thing that they didn't talk about is the debuffs of characters like Smokey and so many characters in the Song of Strife season. Like, I'm pretty sure you guys noticed that Smokey, he's not as good as he was in the starter story. In the starter story, Smokey was absolutely broken. But in Song of Strife, it's like there are so many enemies that are stunning Smokey and he can't really do anything. Like, he feels so, he feels so mid in the song of strife update so i was hoping that they could touch on that in this letter and tell us you know why they did that and are they going to take off that debuff um from smoky but i don't think they're ever going to do that but yeah i feel like that's like one of my biggest things for the song of strife update is smoky just doesn't really feel that good and i feel like Wayne in the song of strife update is going to be way better than smoky because 
she's not gonna get stunned and she can heal way better so i don't know the smoky debuff is kind of crazy he's the most insane support unit in the game but his saga strife he feels like trash but we're going to go ahead and switch on over to afk journey and we're going to put in this code all right let's go ahead and pop in this code we're going to go ahead and paste it there we go pin invite letters we're also going to pop this multi summon real quick but let's go to mythical house there we go let's come over here to the tavern all here recruitment and i'm hoping we can at least get um a valid or floor bell copy so let's go ahead and pop this multi summon here come on give me an epic here and if we don't get an epic give me a marley or odie ah no epic all right come on marley ah this guy he's not good but that's literally all we have um overall really really good letter from the desk really excited and this update is going to be implemented in like a week or so i think so there are going to be a lot of changes and i'm really excited for it but anyways That'll be it for today's video. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate it. And share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you guys think this is a W? Is this an L? Share your opinions. Anyways, I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Peace.